If you like our video, please share, like and subscribe to our channel. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you how to use JSON Serializable and Build Runner package in Flutter. Before we start the tutorial, let me briefly describe what is JSON Serializable. All data that transfer or receive from backend are in the form of JSON, which basically JSON is a key value structure. So in order for you to use the key value structure or JSON in your front-end app more flexible, you should serialize it into a data class. And today's tutorial on JSON serializable package in Flutter will help you solve all the problem. Now let's input the package in the Flutter project you just have to add the package into popspec.yaml file. To make sure no any error happens, I would suggest to follow the package version that I use in current tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be creating a sample data class. You should customize the data class based on your JSON. So now I have created a user class with name, address, and age as the variable and a constructor. Next, we will be creating a factory function that helps us map the JSON received from the HTTP request to this class. Two functions are needed, one is from JSON and one is to JSON. Now the data class is finished, but as you can see, there are the red underline at the functions. It means that the function something is missing, but actually this is not missing. Here introduce a build runner package that we imported earlier on in pubspec.yaml. The build runner helps us to generate the function code and reduce our boilerplates. So to let the build runner package know that it needs to generate code for this file, we need to add part and the file name. Now we can run this command in the terminal to generate the code.
Now you can see a new user.g.dat file is created. The name is same as the name that you give after the part. And the error now disappear from the user data class factory function. So now we can use user.fromjson function to serialize the JSON that we received from HTTP request. So that's all for today's tutorial. If you would like to know how to call HTTP request, please check out my Dio HTTP Flutter package tutorial. If you like our video, please share, like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.